Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you some things you might not already know about the Canada goose. The Canada goose is the largest widespread goose that is found in the UK. They have a wingspan of up to 1.8 meters and can weigh as much as six and a half kilos. They have a black tail and legs, a white patch under their tail, a white rump when they fly and slate gray wings. Their head and neck markings are very distinctive, being black with a vibrant white chin strap. Just like other species of geese, males are known as ganders, and although from their plumage they are identical to the females, they are usually slightly larger. As their name suggests, Canada geese are not a native species, and were first introduced to the UK from their native North America in 1665. Over the following hundred years they were deliberately and accidentally introduced across the country and have also been introduced to mainland Europe, Russia and Asia. In their native range, most Canada geese used to be migratory, sometimes travelling thousands of miles each winter, but now they are predominantly resident. Birds in the UK do sometimes move to better feeding grounds in the winter but they have no fixed migratory route and it's thought that those in England never cross paths with the birds in France just 26 miles away. A Canada goose's diet mainly consists of aquatic vegetation, grass, insects, mollusks and other invertebrates. In urban areas, people also feed them with scraps, bread and seeds. Canada geese usually start nesting when they are two to three years old when they form a monogamous pair. The female then creates a large bowl-shaped nest of vegetation lined with feathers, usually between March and April. This will be on the ground and within close reach of water. She'll lay between two and 12 light cream colored eggs that measure around eight and a half centimeters in length. The gander guards the nest whilst the female does all of the incubation and after 25 to 28 days, the chicks which are known as goslins hatch. At first, they are covered in a layer of yellow green down. They have their eyes open and are able to walk and feed themselves straight away. Once all of the goslins have hatched, their parents lead them away from the nest to the relative safety of the water. Sometimes, when several pairs nest close to one another, they may accidentally adopt the young of other geese resulting in one pair looking after far more goslings than they have produced. The young grow fast and are heavily protected by their parents or adopted parents until they can fly at around 10 weeks of age. Family groups often stay together over the winter before the young move away in the following spring. Canada geese usually only nest once in a season but if their nest is destroyed, they can attempt to nest a second time. They will also mate for life, but only if their breeding efforts are successful. If they have one or more failed nesting seasons, it isn't unusual for them to split and find new mates. There are currently around 190,000 Canada geese in the UK, and over the past five years, these numbers have remained relatively stable. In the wild, they have an average lifespan of around six years, but one bird made it to 33 years and three months before being shot, so it could have lived longer. In captivity, they can live much longer than that, with multiple records of birds living beyond 40 years of age. And several online sources even suggest they can live for up to 80 years. I think someone must have made a typo and then been copied a few times, as that number is crazy and way higher than I'm able to believe. Well, there we go. Hopefully you learned something new about the Canada goose. If you did, check out this other British wildlife video. And if you liked that, subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.